Adam Christ for my MMA news with Mike No Mercy Serrano ahead of his King of the Cage bout against Scott Dirksen, which takes place September 7th in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And this is going to be in a fantastic card right in No Mercy's back, backyard. Mike, I appreciate you taking the time, man. How's it going, my friend? It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, everything is going good. Every, the camp is going great. Um, I can say that this is going to be uh, one hell of a battle between me and Scott. I'm excited to uh, fight um, next week for King of the Cage. Um, I've been training my ass off. Um, I'm, I feel like um, I resurrected my whole fighting career. Uh, I know I've been in the game going on nine years. You know, I, mean, I took two years off in between. Uh, had over 20-something no over 20 fights as an amateur, you know what I mean? And, and, and a seven year span. Um, and I'm glad it took my time because I, I trained with guys that turned pro before me and now they retired before me, before I even turned a pro, you know what I mean? And I, I don't even hear from them more. And, you know, they say everything takes time it, it to really, to really make the best of it. You know what I mean? Just like wine, the, it, the older, it, the more finer it gets. And I'm so like, uh, man, I'll be 39 next week. And I'm feeling like I'm 29, to be honest with you. Oh, damn. <laughs> I think 39 is coming up. Well, yeah. you don't look at past 29, man. Like I got to so we So, uh, so how's everything been, man? I, how you feeling with camp? You know, you said it's going good. Why the long layoff, if you don't mind? Uh, I say the long layoff because obviously I got injured last uh last winter in October. I was getting ready for um Art of War right. in November. I was gonna go against uh Jamal Johnson. Shout out to mm-hmm. Jamal Johnson. He's he's one hell of a uh a breed just like me, you know what I mean? Um but uh yeah, I got a concussion during training camp and uh that, that laid me out for about a good three, four months. I had to take um therapy, I had like six, seven weeks of therapy. I wasn't the same, my brain was off, you know what I mean? I had bad headaches every other day throughout the day and uh but nay, now I'm back, you know what I mean? It's probably like eighteen months since the last fall. I fought last March. Um mm-hmm. and uh yeah, that was the last time I fought for Art of War last March and, and I'm excited, man. I'm I'm back. I'm more focused than ever. I'm more more or more dedicated to the sport you know what i mean before i used to train and i used to just my mind wasn't in the training room i was just like all right it's time to train get it over with you know what i mean then and then go home you know what i mean but this time is around like i enjoy every moment i enjoy stepping in i enjoy conversating i, I enjoy being 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 pushed you know what i mean it's just it's, it's a whole new passion for the sport and there's so many promotions these days and you've always fought for the top tier promotions King of the Cage, man, it's been around for a long, long time. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, this will be your first time entering the King of the Cage. And yeah. uh, how's that feeling, man? I mean, uh, such a, a well-known, experienced promotion that's been there, done that, and you are finally get to put your stamp right in your backyard. That's got to feel great. Yeah, it definitely feels great. You know what I mean? Everything takes time. You know what I mean? I was offered a couple of fights, you know what I mean, within, like within the last year or so, maybe a little longer. But, you know what I mean, I I, I – I, kept holding out, you know what I mean, for certain reasons. And I felt like, I mean, this was the time, you know what I mean? I, I was waiting to get back in the cage and I've been out for the, I mean, a year and a half already. And I was like, you know, what, I'm going to take this opportunity presented itself. And uh, I'm really excited it's in Harrisburg. I have my family coming down from Connecticut. Uh, my my biological uncle I haven't seen probably in over 25 years. He's coming down with some, yeah, some of my family members. So it's going to be an awesome experience. It's going to be two days after my birthday. So it's going to be like double like a good night, you know what I mean, regardless of the, uh, the, the decision. Right. Even though uh, I'm going to celebrate that night regardless, you know what I mean, it's going to be a good night. It's going to be a good night. Can't wait. So if, uh, as I've heard correctly, you, uh, you've trained a little bit with Mr. Scott Dirksen and you know a little bit about him. So uh what do you what have you taken from uh training with him and what do you know about him that you can put as an effort into the fight? Yeah, we me and Scott, we, we cross trained probably like seven years ago before I joined Gracie seven one seven and uh I used to travel to his backyard to in Chambersburg, you know, man, I went over there, I visited him and and his coach. His coach is a good guy. I mean he's a really good really good person. They're a good camp over there. Uh we was amateurs back in the day, really. Um yeah, I had when when we used to spar and stuff like that, you know, we were both am- amateurs, obviously, and we both evolved. I know that, you know what I mean? But back then, I was just like a wrestler and, and a kicker because I had my Taekwondo background in wrestling, but I had no hands at all, you know what I mean? He he was, he had his little kicks and he was doing his thing too, but he, yeah, I'm not going to like really go back on the past and judge this fight on the past because I know we both evolved as fighters, you know what I mean? And matured, but um, I, I know him, I, I know a little bit about him, but uh, 
we, obviously we we matured like six seven years ago. You know what I mean? But I know he brings it, and I and I bring it. So, and we we don't mind saying toe to toe. You know what I mean? So it's gonna be one hell of a brawl. Awesome, man. So I gotta ask you, uh, with camp and like I said, you, you've taken a little bit of time off and everything. When you once you got back, once you took this fight, getting back into the swing of things was a little bit of rusty, or was it just? You know, knocking a, knocking a little bit of the rust off, getting back in the mix of things. Yeah. Tell me how it was getting back in the transition of training. It, it was a little a little rusty, you know what I mean. I I, I took a uh, last um maybe the end of the, the whole year off from October to December because when I got the concussion, I couldn't really do nothing. I had to go through physical therapy and all that. Yeah. And uh, I started off this year in, in January. He's like, you know what? It's time for me to gradually get back into it. So I started showing up to the gym, like maybe like two times a week, three times a week. You know what I mean? I started running. And uh, and it, it, I could say like around April is when I was really at the gym. And so now, you know I mean, at least three times a week. And uh, just getting back into the swing of things, you know what I mean? I, I was ready to knock off the, the cobwebs, you know what I mean? I, I was kind of cautious, kind of nervous, you know what I mean, about getting another concussion at, at first. I ain't going to be honest. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. But now that um, everything is in, in back to normal, um, I say for the last three months, I just had my, my pat. Everything has just been going like just steady 24-7. I've been running for the last four months, you know what I mean? Like at least three, four times a week. I mean, three to four miles a day. And uh, that helped me get back into my top shape, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah. And like you said, you said uh, Scott's a, a gentleman that he's, he's very willing to stand in the, in, the, in the pocket and trade toe-to-toe with you. Is that something that brings a little bit of excitement back? Because, like you said, you were a little nervous with the concussion. But at the end of the day, you've been tried and true to, to stand your ground, to be a warrior. You have no, no if, ends, or quarrels getting in the pocket and throwing down when you want to. Does that bring a little bit of extra excitement to the table, knowing that somebody's going to be like, you know what, I'll test him, he tests me, let's get it done. And it just it brings that extra level of excitement to the cage, knowing that potentially it's not going to be a lay and pray type fighter. Yeah, yeah, it definitely brings the excitement because uh, my, my, my two losses as a pro, both of my opponents came in and they tried to take me down. They didn't want to stand with me at all. Right. So – it, it, it definitely brings excitement because I know he's he's going to, wherever the fight's going to go, we're both going to go at it. But, mm-hmm. you know, we're, we're both going to put a show on. And uh, I know that he's a stand-up fighter and I'm a stand-up fighter. I mean, even though I have a, my, my main base is wrestling, you know what I mean? But uh, I, I, now that my hands evolved ever since I've been with Gracie, I mean, over the last two years, and like, and I got knocked out of the year for uh, WCC like two years ago. Yeah. Um, and this will be the first time, actually, um, that Zach will be in my corner since then. Last time he cornered okay. me, we got knocked out of the year. So I'm really yeah. excited. I'm really excited because every time we fought, we both fought in the same card or I was injured or he got injured. And now he's in my corner. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it, standing with Scott and uh, making, a, make, making a good fight, fight of the night for the whole crowd, regardless of the end of the result. And you got that little extra good luck charm, Mr. Zach Kelly, in your corner behind you. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. Last that time he's knocked out of the year, baby. That's yeah, right. Zach's, Zach's an awesome dude. He knows his stuff. You know what I mean? He has over 30-something fights, you know what I mean, between his amateur and his pro career, kickboxing, MMA. So, yeah, I'm really excited, really excited for this opportunity. That's, I know Scott's going to bring it, so that's why I'm really excited. You know what I mean? So uh, we talked a little bit off record, and I'm going to keep that off record, but it sounds like there's a new Mike Serrano that's ready to get back in the cage and get it done, man. Tell the fans what they can expect from this new and improved Mike Serrano. You might be going on 40 here soon. Not yet, man. Like I said, yeah, soon I'll be 39 and 39. No rush. Pushing 40, <laughs> pushing 40, 39. But hey, you're as young as a puppy, man. So uh, yeah. what can the fans expect from you, brother? Oh, man, they can expect uh, passion from me. I'm going to be just I'm energetic, just like they are. More more calm, more excited, more uh, agile, a lot of speed, a lot of power, smarter fighter. And uh, I'm going to be humble as I always am. And uh I know I'm going to put on a fight like I always have been, but it's, this time it's going to be more precise and more explosive, and uh, it's going to be one hell of a night. I'm so I'm so, I'm so humble going to this fight, and I'm excited. It's, it's like a present, you know what I mean? Sometimes back in the past, I used to be like kind of a little nervous and like used to doubt myself, and I yeah. think a lot of that got to be with me. My weight's on points right now. I'm only like four pounds overweight. Usually I walk around like 15 to 20 pounds overweight. Like a week out, I'm like 10 to 12 pounds out still and i'm only four pounds i was always 140 tonight you know what i mean after training so i don't have no worries at all put it like that no worries at all no, all right. worries. no worries no worries but do you have a prediction 
Okay, prediction. I predict, yeah, man, they're going to talk, be talking about our fight, through, through, me and Scott's fight throughout the whole card. They're going to they're, they're gonna remember our fight, put it like that. They're going to remember our fight. And I predict that uh, whoever has a strong will and a strong heart on Saturday night, next the September 7th, uh, is going to come out the winner. I love it, man. So we'll close it down, man. Any sponsors or shout outs you want to uh, throw out, man? You know, I know you got uh, Gracie 717. You got a punch, but I'm going to leave the ball in your court, my friend. Yeah, uh, of course, I want to shout out uh, Gracie 717. All my teammates are getting me prepared. I mean, uh, we got we got uh, my head, uh, Jiu Jitsu coach Damien. We got Zach, my striking coach. We got uh, Dr. Randy. He's doing a power work with me. He wraps my hands. He's my chiropractor. Shout out to Dr. Randy. He's been a big factor in this camp. Of course, uh, Christian Carr, Strictly Business, you know, he's undefeated right now. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my boy right there, my brother from another, everybody, you know what I mean? The Josh Carr, all the brothers over there. I want to give a shout out to uh, my sponsor, 5551 West, um, here in Lancaster, my number one sponsors. Um, I just, I, I want to give a, a, a big, huge shout out to Lancaster for always believing in me, for always having my back when it's time to go to war. And I just want to give a shout out to everybody that's been in my corner and believes in me and been motivating me to be where I am today and I want to give a shout out to myself for believing in myself for me to taking a step to come back after you know what I mean so many years of of of, of I mean of defeat of, of of injuries and just you know what I mean I, I I kind of doubted myself last year after my last loss if I was going to fight again and and now I have a whole new passion so I want to shout out myself for never giving up on myself I want to give a shout out to my MMA news, you guys are always showing me love. I, I love it. He's always um, reach out to me, always make sure I'm good and taken care of. And uh, shout out to you, Adam, for taking this time out right now to reach me. Like, uh, what time is it? Like, a little 1030 at night. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. Hey, man, I appreciate you. I appreciate you taking the time. And uh, best of luck on fight night, man. I will be there doing uh, live results. So uh, let's catch up a little bit after the fight, yeah? Sounds good, man. Sounds good. All right, there he goes, Mike No Mercy Serrano, ahead of his King of the Cage bout against Scott Dirksen. It goes down next week, September 7th, and it goes down in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. If you haven't gotten your tickets yet, make sure you do. Again, follow MyMMANews.com for all your live results. Check out my man Flex in there. <laughs>